Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pipe these beautiful roses. So the items you will need are frosting, a flower nail, tip 104 to make the petals, and wax paper that is about 2 inches in length. The first step is to pipe a small amount of frosting on the flower nail and then stick the wax paper right on top. Turn the tip horizontal to layer two flat circles about the size of the flower nail. So right on top of these circles, swirl about four swirls like you're putting whipped cream on top of a sundae. So I like to call this the mountain because it's the base of the rose and it will greatly help you form beautiful roses. This is where it gets very important on how you hold the piping bag. You want to make sure that the bigger end is at the bottom and the skinny side is facing the top. This is how you ensure that the petals have a light flowery appearance. So if you forget, just think big butt bottom and that'll help you remember. The next step is to create the bud. So with the big butt at the bottom and the skinny point to the top, you're going to go to the center of the mountain and pipe. and spin the flower nail. When you make the bud, just make sure you keep the tip as close as possible so that when you turn the flower nail, you make a really, really good tight closed knit flower bud. Next, using the bud and mountain as a guide, start piping petals around the bud. To do this, keep a good grip on the piping bag and hold in an upward position. Then, squeeze even pressure as you slightly lift in the center of each petal and gently turn the flower nail. At first, it may be difficult, but keep practicing so that you can get a feel of how much pressure you need to apply. I personally like to pipe towards myself, but pipe away from yourself if you are more comfortable doing it that way. Be sure to gradually slant the tip and make each petal slightly bigger than the last one. As you can see here, I'm smoothing the really messy petals that left some residue but you don't have to do this. I just like to smooth them out before piping new ones. Also, don't freak out if you're ending your petals too messy because adding more petals will eventually hide any mess you might make. Remember that you want to gradually slant the piping bag and make the petals a bit bigger as you pipe more petals. This will ultimately make your rose look fuller. Do not align each petal exactly with the layer before, because a real rose has alternating petals. Now, make your way down the mountain of the rose as you continue to pipe petals. I like to make my roses very full because in my opinion, it is a better resemblance of a true rose. Because I've seen some tiny ugly roses and I'm like, hold up, what the heck is that? Anyways, if you notice as I spin the flower nail, I can't spin it anymore after a certain amount of spins. When this happens, you can do two things. One, pick up the flower nail and readjust your hand. Or two, spin the flower nail in the opposite direction to get to the point of where you left off. Now we are getting towards the bottom of the wax paper. This is when you make the petals longer to finish up the rose. If you're thinking that the bottom of my rose doesn't look that great, it's because there's going to be leaves around my rose, so I'm not going to worry about making the bottom super, super perfect. And there you have it, a beautifully piped rose by yours truly. I know you guys are probably annoyed with all my talking, so here is another video of me making a rose in real time.
Now go out and try it for yourself. Be sure to let me know how it goes in the comments below. Okay y'all, so the globe is real. So my last piece of advice is to never give up. If I did, then I would have never gone from these ugly roses to these beautiful roses. Yeah, just keep practicing and keep pushing through and you will make beautiful roses too. Ooh, did that rhyme? <gasps> oh, uh, So that concludes my tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!